Hi everyone. So I am done with the analysis of instrumentation engineering question paper, and uh, till now I have received nearly around 53 questions. So based on that, I have made this analysis that from which subject how many questions were easy, moderate, and tough. And what do I mean by this classification? That easy are the ones which can be solved by anyone who has just studied that subject. Now moderate are those which are lengthy but solvable. There were some questions that were lengthy but they could be solved if you are. uh if you are uh, there with the cool mind and uh, there are some questions like let let us assume uh, we will take two questions of mft which was very easy but uh, electronic students might not have studied those to topics so they wouldn't be able to solve that right and uh, there were some questions from communication which was easy but uh, electrical students haven't haven't studied that topic so they wouldn't be able to solve that S measurement questions were uh mostly based on what do we say on network analysis only and sensors and transducer were a bit uh, complex two or three questions were a bit complex right and tough which were which were very lengthy and conceptual so this is the criteria okay and these are the levels this is the criteria so you can check that in aptitude i found eight questions to be easy one moderate that english one and one tough that angle one 120 degree in 3d you have to rotate machines to these two are easy but uh, electronic students might not be able to solve that problem right and uh, mft three questions all were easy but two questions electronic students might not be able to solve those why so because they were not common network uh, four easy one modded so based on that you can see right so this is my complete answer signals was the most asked uh, subject in the instrumentation question paper and it was very easy as well right so this is the complete analysis and based on that i am telling you the marks versus expected rank which is after the first revision once the test series is once the rank predictor is released after that i will make one more marks versus expected rank but that after the rank predictor this is at first glance this is the first revision only so this is my marks versus expected rank analysis as per me if you are getting about 70 then only you can expect a rank under 50 if you are getting about 65 then you can expect a rank under 100 if you are getting 53 or 54 above you can expect a rank under 500 if you are getting 46 above you can expect a rank under 1000 42 above rank under 2000 and cut off i am expecting it to be 36 to 37 if they are qualifying 4000 students if they are qualifying 4k students generally they qualify nearly 4k students in instrumentation so if they are qualifying nearly 4k students this is the cut off i am expecting so yeah this is the complete marks versus expected rank analysis the analysis of complete paper so i found these kind of questions this was the paper i would say it was a bit lengthy not so much of lengthy a bit lengthy and from easy to moderate from easy to moderate a bit bit lengthy right so this is my analysis and yeah no need to be demotivated if you are not getting good enough marks if your target is electrical and ec just focus on that don't focus on instrumentation question paper whatever has been done it's done just focus on your next target now ec and electrical even if you have done minor mistake in your instrumentation question paper even if you have done so well in in instrumentation question paper just forget about it and focus on your final goal that is your main subject ec or electrical right so yeah just be confident enough and you will do very good in your ec and electrical question paper right so all the very best from my side and yeah thank you